Down to Crazy Ketos, we're gonna review a brand new bar. And we'll find out what's next right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So, uh, recently, this company, Next Bar reached out to us and said, hey, would you give our products a try? Yeah, and it claims to be both paleo and keto. Yeah, and uh, if anybody is new to our channel, I love bars. He does love a good bar. As somebody who is on the road a lot between owning a landscaping business and also being a high school sports official, I like having something that'll kind of tide me over, give me a little bit of energy, but without filling up my stomach like a giant meal. So I will consider it a meal, but it's usually like a smaller 150, 200 calorie thing because I'm going to have that. I'm going to go like work a bunch on the landscaping or go work several games, wait three or four hours, and then have my big meal for the day. But there's a lot of bars out there and we're always trying to find what's what's the best option. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so they sent us these three these bars. This is a variety box. And there is chocolate peanut butter, vanilla almond butter, and chocolate coconut. So uh, we're gonna try all three of them, right? Yeah, and do a five things review. So we got chocolate coconut, chocolate peanut butter, vanilla almond. A lot of bars are all chocolate, so I really am interested in the, the vanilla. vanilla almond one. So let's end on that one. We're gonna end on that one. We'll just take a little bite out of each one. We see some of the things they're calling it. They're saying it's keto friendly, paleo friendly, non GMO, and gluten free. Okay, so this is the chocolate coconut. That's what it's gonna look like. It is, it almost looks like a, a soft chocolate bar. Look it at that. Does. It looks like a piece of fudge. So you can see, yeah, it is. It's like a piece of fudge almost. I'm just gonna do a little piece. I can see a lot of chocolate chips in there. There is, yeah. So I actually have like little holes from inside there. There is a lot of chocolate chips and stuff in that. Mmm. That is delicious. It's those little chocolate globs that are very like moist. Mm-hmm. Which is good because the bar itself is pretty, almost like a taffy. Okay. Like a sugar baby. That flavor. At first taste, it was delicious. For me, a little chalky at the end. It's got an aftertaste it's, to it. It's definitely got a chalkiness at the end. It's coconutty at the end. Yeah. There's no coconut on the front end. No, no, absolutely. I got all chocolate. So this is the chocolate peanut butter, which it does look like peanut butter. This would- it Smells like peanut butter. Be my most anticipated one. Cause I love chocolate peanut butter stuff. Again, it's kind of, it, it's kind of, it's, it's a little like of a chalky texture. Hmm. Hmm. The peanut flavor doesn't match the peanut smell. Wow. Wow. What is that? That taste is Mm, there was a dollar store candy that I had gotten that was like peanut i I'm just not happy with the texture. The texture is weird. And it's like in your throat. The texture is very, very weird. I was disappointed in the flavor when I smelled <laughs> that. I smelled a lot of peanut. I was anticipating a lot of peanut flavor. It tastes like peanut, but... I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't taste like peanut, but I was expecting more. It's still like in my throat. Like I feel like I would probably not want to eat that one by myself in case I choke. No, that smells good. Okay. It smells like a really... Vanilla almond. Nice lotion. Break one in half and see what it looks like inside. Okay. It, it's 
I want to say it's like a quest bar texture, but not, but it's chalkier than a quest bar. Yeah. You know, a quest bar is very, very chewy, right? Mm -hmm. It's creating a little bit of a film on my tongue. Yeah. Mm. It's very bland. What is going on in there? Hmm. Mm. What does that taste? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I have to sell you. Oh, you can just put it right back together. Right back together. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Play-Doh. <laughs> um, the flavor is very underwhelming. Well, you want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So we're going to start off with the ingredients. I'll just go down the line. They're all in the back of the box. Ingredients in the vanilla almond butter. Almond butter, tapioca fiber, grass-fed whey protein, pea protein, almonds. That's what you're tasting. Okay. Chicory root fiber, cacao butter. Cacao! Sunflower less than organic coconut oil, organic vegetable glycerin, organic pumpkin seeds. Right in my throat. Natural flavors, Himalayan pink salt, stevia leaf extract, monk fruit extract. I did not taste any pumpkin seeds in that vanilla almond. Oh, no. And what? I didn't feel any. It's just like a ball in my throat right now. Chocolate peanut butter. First ingredient is peanut butter, tapioca fiber, grass-fed whey protein, 100% uh, cacao uh, chocolate chips, pea protein, chicory root fiber, cacao butter, organic coconut oil, sunflower lecithin, organic vegetable glycerin, natural flavors, organic pumpkin seeds. Didn't taste any of those. I have not tasted some pumpkin seeds. Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit extract, stevia leaf extract. Now here's the thing a little bit. Wait. Got one more. When they say things like peanut butter, I kind of want you to break that down for me a little bit because there's a lot of peanut butter. You could butter. be using natural peanut butter or you could be using Jif. Jiffy. Yeah. Chocolate coconut, almond butter, uh, tapioca fiber, grass-fed whey protein, or, uh, one, organic 100% cacao chocolate chips, uh, chicory root fiber, pea protein, organic cocoa, organic coconut oil, organic coconut, sunflower lecithin, organic vegetable glycerin, cacao butter, natural flavors, organic pumpkin seeds, Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit extract, and stevia There's leaf There's no extract. pumpkin seeds. I'm not tasting pumpkin seeds at all. Okay, so ingredients. Here's my problem. They have... Three, all three flavors have three different types of fiber. That's not great. Without getting into the nutrition label, that's a lot of fiber. And that's a lot of fiber. And you have things like almond butter and peanut butter. Which all also have fiber in them. But you don't know what is that like made up of. Yeah. So these... I mean, we're going to get into nutrition right now, but these have have a lot of fiber because all three of them have tapioca fiber, chicory root fiber, and vegetable glycerin, okay. which are all fibers. They also will all sweeten. So They weren't super sweet. They weren't super sweet considering they all have stevia leaf and monk fruit and three different fibers, which will all sweeten your food. No. So it's, it's, that, that's a little interesting. So number two... Does a keto base on the nutrition label? Okay. Okay. Uh, which one, one bar is a serving. One bar is a serving on all of them. They're all about from 220 to 250 in calories per bar. Right. Chocolate peanut butter is obviously the highest. But at you would expect you that. You would expect that. 14, so vanilla almond butter, 14 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, uh, 17 total carbohydrates, which is at the cap of my total carbs that I like in a bar. 13 grams of dietary fiber. So that's, a, that's a again, like I said, that is a lot of fiber. And there's no sugar alcohol. So it's all coming from fiber. All your carbs are coming from fiber. And for the most you've part. got. And there's two grams of sugar in it. And you've got more protein than you have fat. Right. Well, it, it's equal as far as ratio. But like, I would rather have some of these other more fattier bars that are out yes, there. Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Well, they are considered also paleo too. Okay. Okay. So. Chocolate peanut butter, we have 16 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, which is going to be about, that's going to work out to be about 70, 30, so that's pretty good, actually. 
18 total carbohydrates, 13 grams of dietary fiber. So that's gonna make that one five net carbs. By the way, the vanilla almond butter is four net carbs per serving. And again, two total, two grams of total sugars. Last one is chocolate coconut, 15 total fat, 15 protein, 19 total carbs, 15 dietary it's, fiber. It's still in my throat. It's still in your throat? It's still in my throat. It's very chalky. Two total carbs. So honestly, I don't know. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? Technically, yes. It's, you know, four net carbs, five net carbs. Um, the total carbs aren't super bad. You know, whenever I look at a bar, I like to have my total carbs on a bar be no more than about 17. On an occasional treat, I'll do like 20 if I'm having like a heck of bar or something like that. But I also know that is an what occasional the heck treat. <laughs> that is an occasional treat. I like to have the bars really around 13 or so, and 17 is the cap. But I hate seeing that most of those carbs are coming from fiber. Right. So that, that's just my personal, you know. But it, but it technically does keto. Technically. Number three, how does it taste? I, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm like I'm still tasting it. it. I'm not thrilled with the taste. It's still happening. I'm not thrilled with the taste. I'm not liking the fact that it's like a big lump in my yeah. throat. I, I I've honestly, never had that happen before. When they, when they sent it, when they reached out to me and I looked at the ingredients, I'm like, okay, it's got some fiber in it, but the, the carbs are okay. Let me try them. I was kind of excited with the flavors. I, I'm not impressed with the flavor at all. And I don't like the texture. I just don't like the texture. The texture is a little bit off-putting. And yeah, I feel like we would have found one that really stood out. Honestly, I'd prefer a Quest Bar. Yeah. I, I think a Quest Bar has a better texture. They have better flavors. And I'm looking, they may have a little bit more total carbs, Can you but they're going to be very filling. Can you believe you're saying that out loud? <laughs> We're saying that out loud. Give us the Quest Bar of, of yesteryear. Yeah, of yeah, yesteryear, because the new ones are actually pretty good now. The new ones that they've started making are really good. And they even have a new snack bar, which is like all nuts and stuff, which I'm really excited to so try. So if we put these guys in a, another bar showdown, I don't think yeah. they would I'm not impressed with the taste. Well. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay, so I've got their website here. So the website, they come in a box of 12. This is the variety pack. Then you can buy them all one flavor if you want. It does say the regular price is $39.99, but according to their website, $39.99. They're on sale for $29.99. That's a good deal. So 10 bars in a box, so that's what? $2.50 $2. a bar. bar. $2.50 a bar. That's so. that's right in line. Yeah, that's with, right in line with all other bars. Number five, would we recommend it? This is a bar that is not sweet. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for something that's not sweet, you you might really like this because some some people don't like bars that are I don't know tasty and delicious. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna be blunt. I'm not as somebody who likes a lot to, of different bars. I'm not gonna recommend. I'm this trying bar. to find the silver lining here. When I, when I look at everything, um, it's a lot of fiber to total carb ratio. That that is a lot of fiber to total carb. I would rather have more carbs but less of it fiber. I'd rather I'd rather you give me a bar that maybe I'm eating 20 total carbs, but 16 of them are erythritol and yeah. only two is fiber, as opposed to a bar where 13 or 14 grams of those 17 carbs are coming from fiber. So basically you're playing a fiber game. We're sweetening it with fiber, which is where we start getting into trouble because your body will break down that fiber. I mean, we just recently had an interview with Dr. Barry, and if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And Dr. Barry was talking about that that fiber does get digested. It's not gonna get digested for four, uh, four carbs per, it's closer to two carbs per, but it does get digested, which means it will spike your insulin, it will spike your glucose. So when you add that in to, I'm not thrilled with the texture, and I'm not happy with the taste of it. Well, I'm telling you, the fact that it's still kind of in my throat is scary. That yeah. was a, That's a little bit scary. Because usually I'll say, all right, give it to the kids. I don't think I would give it to the kids. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I, I, I honestly would I'm not so recommend sorry. it. <laughs> I hate feeling like this. Yeah. But we have to be honest. So yeah. I just wouldn't recommend them. I, I personally will not buy this. You know, and I'll tell you, I'm going to buy this. And we say taste is subjective. And maybe if you've had these and you like them, let us know down below. Um, 
But for me, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. There's just a lot of other options out there. And, you know, maybe we'll see them in a year and they'll reformulate and it'll be totally different. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.